Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the dot that shows up on the laser sight when it hits an object and it's simply just a plane with a texture on it. I'm just about to show you it. There it is. It's a plane with a transparent texture and a point light attached to it. Now I'll upload this onto the site. You can just download it from there or you can make your own if you want. Uh, Deactivate both of them. Make sure the light is the child object of the laser pointer plane. And then take both of those and drag it into the decal holder. Okay. Save this and um let's go back to the main player for a second. Right. So you want to open up your laser pointer script. Alright, and let's define the robots we need first. The first one we're going to need is for laser dot. It's going to type game object. Um, next one's going to be for laser light. It's going to be a game object as well. Alright, let's do this. This one's not going to be in the late update. It has to be in the update function. So function update. Open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. You want to copy all these four lines over here. Paste them into this. And let's start to check the de um, hit detection. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the raycast physics. dot raycast open bracket we're going to say origin comma direction comma hit close bracket twice open curly brace close curly brace save it inside this we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace and over here we're going to say if hit dot game object dot tag sorry not dot game object it's dot collider dot tag dot game object dot tag equals equals untagged so if we hit anything untagged just show the laser pointer so inside this we're gonna say laser dot dot transform dot position equals hit dot point the next thing we're going to do is you want to say laser pointer sorry laser dot dot transform dot local rotations equals a quaternion dot from to rotation open bracket close bracket closing semicolon vector 3 up uh, comma hit dot normal right let me just explain this this one should be pretty straightforward to you it just basically makes the dot go to the end of the raycast and this one basically sets the rotation for the laser dot so if you're looking straight ahead but the objects quite slanted it's gonna change the rotation so it hits the wall so it fits the wall perfectly so it's not gonna be straight it's not gonna be looking up or looking down it's gonna make sure it hits the wall even if it's a side object so if I quickly go here and show you what I mean see this object if I look dead on straight obviously the little plane is going to be hitting it perfectly it's going to be straight but what if we're standing from an angle and our laser point is going this way it's just gonna tell the plane to rotate itself and make sure it's facing the wall properly so it's touching it that's what that line does and um, let's finish this off by 
simply saying laser dot dot uh, active equals true laser dot laser light sorry dot active equals true as well copy these two lines just the laser dot and laser light underneath these two closing curly braces put else and then do that and then put false here and save okay it's not called with a c it's a laser dot sorry it's an uppercase L for the laser light that's my fault I wasn't paying attention save it and that should be okay alright so let's see what happens so before I do start off um, this object is untagged so if we hit it the laser dot should show this one's untagged this one's untagged that's untagged no these are tagged so anything untagged will show the laser dot I forgot to assign it and it's telling me at the bottom uh, click on the object that has the the laser point script my case is this one and you can see both of them are attached to it so the laser goes into this and the light goes into that one save it now let's try it so if I hit the floor there they are both of them okay you can see if I pick, pick it up it goes off So that's how you do that. But what if these objects are tagged? What do we do about these? Let's do that next. Save your scene. Go back into the script. Okay, so what you want to do is basically copy this if statement from where it says hit dot collider dot game object dot tag. Copy that all the way to this closing brace. Copy. Space. Paste it underneath that one. Okay, I didn't copy. Just leave a couple of spaces so you won't get confused. Paste it there. Paste it there. We have a tag called wood. So wood goes in there. Metal goes in there. We had a tag called terrain. We're going to do one for that. There. So terrain. Um, we have a tag called elevator as well. We want to do one for that too. So every tag you have, just add it on. So I have elevator, and that's fine for me. So let's check if this works now. Pretty sure it does. So there we go. Let's go. Untagged. Fine. Hitting metal now, let's see what happens. It's fine, it shows up, there it is. Wood, same, it's good. Elevator, brilliant, shows up. Okay, fantastic. As for the train now, it's working as well. Fantastic, there you go guys. That's how you make the laser dot. And that's the laser pointer fully completed now. But let me show you some little perks about this thing. What if we want to change the laser's color? How would we do that? Pretty simple. Let's go into our script. And you want to go and find this line. Line render dot set color one and one. You want to copy that line. And let's say if we hit the elevator I want the line color to change. I'm going to paste it off the disk. I have already made two extra variables called color 3 and 4. You can do that if you want. And I'm just going to put color 3 and color 4. 
else it's just going to return to color red so put that there color one and color two save go into unity as you can see color three and four i have set as greens so if i hit the elevator my light should turn to green so at the moment it's red there you go it worked i saw it immediately it turns to green but what doesn't make sense is the fact that that works but the light remains as red how do we change that simple as well so let's go back over here and let's change the property the light comes with so paste down the underneath there delete the active true dot Uh, one, of, one of these ones light dot color equals color free else light dot color equals one set back to red that sets to green and then that should work and I forgot the closing semicolons that changed the light color as well you can change the dot color as well but that used the material I'll show you that next time there you go see the color change looks beautiful actually back to red green Okay, there's a one little thing I need to fix up actually. Copy uh, to where is it? I've lost it. Okay, copy the original colors and paste it into every other single one of those. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. Because what happens is, as soon as we exit the elevator tag, it remains green because I've said else if we leave any of the objects if we're touching nothing then return the light to green we don't want that to happen as soon as we get out the lift elevator tag then if we touch a different tag return it back to its original color which was red so you want to paste it for this one as well so copy the laser light dot light color and paste it for the other ones as well like so and save it and that should turn the colors back to red afterwards so if I touch the elevator quickly it'll go to green green red green red green red green red works perfectly okay fantastic save your scene in the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to actually change the material color because I only have one material for the laser pointer I can't change it and the next one I'll show you how to do that but I guess that's all for the laser pointer for today and um, as always guys thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe and I will catch you soon take it easy